Hi friends. Um, Hi everybody. <laughs> future McKinley Colton here. Um, I feel like some people might not really know like what the big deal is about like a UT game or a UT versus Tech game um, or like what the hype is about it or like you know like why we camped out for it. So before we start this video um, Colton's gonna explain it to you because he's a basketball fanatic and he knows everything and I don't know that much So he's gonna explain it to you just so you know and if you don't care You can just skip to this number and we'll start the video. Okay, go so Texas Tech and Texas already have like a rap some somewhat of a rivalry just because UT sucks. It's yeah, really like, everyone hates UT. Yeah, and um, Well in last April April 1st exactly, Chris Beard left Texas Tech to go to Texas. Chris Beard was our head coach for six seasons, I think it was. Took us to a Final Four, you know, did a lot for our program, made it what it was, made it a national program and all that. And then last year at the end of the season, he was tweeting out saying like, we're gonna win a national championship one day, all this and that. And then a week later, Boom, just randomly announces that he's leaving, going to... Well, actually, he didn't announce that. Um, like, other sources announced that he was going to Texas. He didn't come out and say anything. So, but the reason everyone's pissed is how he left. Um, there's rumors saying, you know, he already knew he was leaving before a season ended. We offered him a lifetime contract. We offered him more money than Texas, and he still chose to left. He didn't even... Uh, talk to the he chose to leave Sorry. he didn't even talk to our athletic director before leaving like he just just left us in the dirt um, he also wanted to take every staff member and every player from tech and take him to Texas leaving Texas Tech nothing that's what he tried to do and that just didn't sit well with everybody the donors included because um, you just don't do that if he would have just you know, came out and had a statement, had a press conference saying that, like, he doesn't want to leave, but it's the right time to leave. He wants to coach his alma mater, which is Texas. What does that mean, though? Alma mater? Yeah. That's where he graduated from. Oh, that's what I thought. But yeah. I wanted to make sure. And so if he would have just came out and been like, you know what, I, I, I've had a great time here. I've loved it here, um, but I, it's time for me to go. Mark Adams needs to be the head coach and just done it like the right way i don't think anybody would be that mad because like we get it alma mater like everyone wants to coach at their alma mater like coach adams is right now so that's pretty much what everybody's pissed about and uh that's why he's a liar and a and a snake and a traitor and a traitor but he also just doesn't seem like a nice and guy and he bad mouthed texas tech when he got to texas to like other recruits and stuff um, and there was a report that came out the night before the game that Chris Beard and Mark Adams got into a confrontation because Beard was pissed how the students were treating him and thought Adams was condoning it, which Adams has no control how our students react. So he's just a very, very crybaby type of person. He play, likes to play the victim a lot. Um, but he's good, he's good at manipulating people. Fun fact. <laughs> but So yeah, he's not a very good person. So yeah, that's kind of the reason why like it's a big deal and um it was like our first game that we've played since he left, so it's a big deal. Yeah, we had the largest crowd ever in our arena last night at fifteen thousand three hundred people. It was a good time, but that's a little explanation. And we hope you enjoy the video. Hi friends. I thought I would vlog because today's very exciting. Um, one, me and Colton are about to go to church because Maddie Pruitt is a guest speaker. Not only that, we love this church. It's so good. So we're going to go watch Maddie Pruitt speak. And I also got my nails in today. I guess I'll just show y'all that right now. They're like really cute. Anyways, Valentine's Day nails. And not only is that very exciting, but... Me and Ellie, my roommate, I don't know if I've ever vlogged with her before, honestly, but my roommate slash bestie, I always say my roommate, but just know they're also my besties. Um, we are camping out for the UT versus Tech game, y'all. We originally planned to start camping out Monday, and people had a different idea. People started camping out yesterday, which was Saturday, 
And so we're gonna camp out tonight, which is Sunday. Um, the game is on Tuesday at 8 p.m. So kind of wild how early people decided to camp out, but we plan on camping out. We just didn't realize how early people were gonna start camping out. So I'm going to church and then I'm going to meet them there. They're like setting up the tent, getting all that stuff ready. And we're gonna camp out for this UT versus Tide game. It's gonna be so fun, such a fun experience. Um, also it's like freezing outside. So that's something. Um, and yeah, so we had to go to like five specific games in order to get priority to register for certain games, this being one of them. And so we went to all those games and we got priority registration and we're just super pumped. So I'm packing right now. I thought I'd kind of show you a little bit what I'm packing. So I'm just taking like one of these bags from Home Goods. I have three blankets in here so far. I literally have three, pa four pairs of fuzzy socks because I don't like being cold. Um, so we're gonna wear these. I have gloves and then I also have this little beanie. Um, and I'm also going to layer all of my clothing before I go. So I'm trying to figure out like what I'm gonna layer on right now. So when I get back from church, I can just put it on and head over there and it's gonna be so fun. I also went to the store and got some snacks. So I'll have food, I need to get water. I'm just trying to get everything together. So thought I would kind of explain that to y'all. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna finish packing and then I will see you guys later. And we're vlogging this whole thing, y'all. One, Texas Tech basketball games are so fun and I wanna take y'all on one, but this is gonna be a good game. So definitely we're vlogging this. Okay. We're back from seeing Maddie Pruitt. Colton, what? what'd you think? Hey! What'd you I thought think? we already recorded this. Uh, yeah, but then you're peeing and I could hear it and that's really gross. Oh, that's awkward. So, we're redoing the club. Okay. What'd you think? It was so good. It was good. It was really good. And now, we're, we're in a rush. We are in a rush. Now I'm going to the, the, to where Ellie is to camp out. Anyways, so here I am. I don't know if this is enough layers because I'm just wearing sweatpants and this and hey dudes but I brought a lot of because huh? I, I was gonna say campsite but I'm like it's not a campsite going to the arena to camp out. yeah I'm going to the arena to camp out for the UT of Texas yes game. I told him that um oh, okay. anyways but I got a lot of fuzzy socks and stuff so it should be enough okay, well, you gotta go to the anyways we gotta go because gotta because I just have to gotta so Here's Colton's annoying manager shirt stuck to my stuff that I did never ask him to put there, but that's okay. It can go there. Well, don't put it there. Maybe you put it in your closet. It wouldn't be a problem. Okay, here we go. Go. Vlogging. Hello. Hi. We're vlogging. <laughs> I'm gonna say hi. I probably look so bad. It's okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're camping. In a tent. Show them the tent. Okay. Give them the tour. Tent tour. Thank you, Kaylee, for my nails, one, and for the tent. <laughs> She's not gonna see this. Okay, let me tent tour. Ooh, she's stylish. We love her, cute. Also, Texas Tech donors, oh, y'all can't see me. Texas Tech donors, like, donated, like, I think they said over, like, $10,000. So they provided us, like, food and water and snacks and blankets. That was really cool. Thought I'd share that with y'all. Um, anyways, but we're not really doing much. We're just chatting, so. No, every time I looked at Ellie, she was knocked out, and I was like, why can't I be you? I probably slept for a total of like four hours. Um, oh my gosh, I slept. But bed. there were people at like four and five in the morning screaming, so that woke me up. Did you sleep good, Casey? You slept better than I thought I was going to. Like, it was like at 4 a.m. when they did that. 
Yeah. Like the Raider power and FDT that was not and all that. That was like No, scary. they did it. They kept doing it. I cannot believe you missed all of this. No, yeah, they kept I like saying stuff. When we like first started like, yeah. like closing our eyes. No, but then, yeah, they, then they yelled stuff later. Yeah, they kept oh. yelling. And today's about tonight's supposed to be even worse because they said mm. they're like pre-gaming the game. Like the whole night. Well, then they'll be so drunk they'll be passed out, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Or they're gonna go all night and be passed out the whole day. Or some of the day. But, anyways, solid two out of ten. It's like I fell asleep really hard for a few hours, like an hour, and then I'd wake up for an hour, and then I'd fall asleep. But I sat in the sauna for a little bit to warm up this morning, and I had a piece so bad. So, but, anyways, we're gonna go get coffee now. So, look on the bright side, you know what I'm saying? On the bright side. <laughs> Except we're not gonna have parking like that. Yeah, we're not gonna have parking. And that's okay. That's okay. It's all about the experience. Hi, my vlog. Hi. <laughs> that was. That was freaking rude as heck. So, me and Ellie just got um, home to take a shower. Quick shower right now. It's 12:42, and I actually have work later, so we'll probably I'll probably go back out there for a little bit and then go to work. Yeah. So that's our that's update. Fun. We're just showering. We had a good time. We talked to the president for a little bit. Yeah, I got some free seven PS, some free breakfast. Yeah, we got. So I guess they ended up raising like over eighteen thousand dollars now, like the donors and yeah. like stuff. So we got like we get free food and breakfast, lunch, dinner, like all that. Tomorrow they're getting like free drinks, like stuff like that. Yeah. So it's really cool. It's really fun. Um, and yeah, so now we're gonna shower because we feel like we smell a little bad. So. Yeah, we're so greasy. We'll update you guys though. With Colton, we're going to camp out part two, Jeez. round two. Well, yeah, he's not. I am. I really prepared more this time, which I thought I was prepared yesterday, but I got more layers and I think it's going to be a lot better. Hopefully, I went to work, I made some money. Actually, it did really good for Monday night, by the way, guys. Anyways, um, and what did you do at work? What did I do? Oh, yeah, made good money, oh. and then. Yeah, so now we're going out there. I'm gonna take you to all the festivities. Supposedly it's really wild. And I'm gonna be real sad if I don't get sleep because mm -mm, I'm not a nice person if I don't get my sleep. He can vouch for that. Yeah. I have to have my sleep. I'm so. How are you having a good mood today? You didn't even get any sleep. I made good money. Anyways, I, anyways, yeah. So that's what we're doing and I'll update you when we're there. Hi. Casey's here. Hi. I think I just sat on like someone's chips or something. Oh, no. It feels like something's it crushing like, under me. I think it's the rice cakes. Oh, oops, sorry. Who's that for rice cakes these are? Those are Michaela's. Oh, that was definitely my bad. Okay, anyways, I just got here. Casey took a little power nap, she said. Do you see them burning the flag? Yeah. I walked over there and they told me they were burning the flag and I was like, oh, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, no, we, me and Colton were walking up and they like had this UT flag and they were burning it, but I didn't get to get on camera. But um, now we're in the tent, it's warmer in here and yeah, there's a lot of people. It's a lot crazier. Yeah, it's definitely a lot crazier. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We'll update you for sure. This is going to be real, guys. It's the next morning. Um, Tuesday, game day, game day. And mm -hmm, this is how I looked when I woke up. I put the whole tent up looking like this. A hot mess. Um, thought I would update you guys though. <laughs> Let me set y'all up on something. So, basically, last night was fun. Um, we hung out for a little bit and played volleyball and stuff like that. And then we, um, we went to Brahms at like 1.40 because it was really cold and we wanted to be warm. So we went to Brahms and I also was hungry and so I got some food. And we ate there until they closed and then um, came back and went to sleep. Well, I went to sleep, y'all. And mm, let me just tell y'all, I was so cozy. I'm not kidding you. Ellie had to wake me up this morning at like 8.30. And I don't think I moved. Like, I was in the same position that I had fallen asleep in. So, <clears throat> I was real comfy. Because I, I brought my comforter. I had, like, 
five no probably like seven like little smaller just like throw blankets you know i had on this huge thing colton is like an angel y'all he like <clears throat> research like how I should dress properly so I don't freeze <laughs> in the tent because the night before it was miserable so um he kind of like did a little research he's one of those people that like research stuff weird huh <laughs> anyways so I have like these leggings on um they're from airy but like the inside of them are like really soft I had these my sweatpants again and then I had like one of these um undershirts from Nike and then this little like one of these y'all can't really see like one of these things that like zip half this walmart sweatshirt and then he brought me this big huge jacket y'all i was warm i was living it was a good time we put all the tent up and um time to get ready it's 9 36 and i'm basically we're all trying to get ready by noon because we don't know how like the line's gonna work or whatever so like we all have different colored wristbands by the time that we got there you know what really sucks is me and ellie were in line for the first day wristbands and they ran out so we got like day two wristbands or something like the next day it sucked um so that means like we're in a whole different section that's not fun anyways so yeah we're getting ready trying to be there by noon I'm gonna take a shower and maybe when I'm done I won't look like this hot mess that I look like. But it was so fun, y'all. Oh my camera is running out of space. I need to charge my camera. Okay, BRB. I'm ready. I Dyson. Finally! You scared me, actually. You actually scared me. I Dyson my hair. She didn't come out too bad today. And then I have this shirt on because it's a blackout with my little What's text talk, baby? With my little uh, white bodysuit under. And then I have let me show you. No, I can't show you my long mirror. The lighting's bad. My sheen belt, my Forever 21 jeans, and my Air Forces. Super cute. And I need to get my charm bracelet. Let me get that and then we're leaving. Wait, let's see if you can see right here. Oh, you can kind of see. This okay, the fit. This bracelet. be the fit. Okay. <laughs> Up. We were like kind of way back there, but we moved up in line. We got some Milani new to taste test if they gave us some. So we're gonna taste test it. I've never had one, isn't that kind of silly? Me neither. Well, I just tried to sip, but I've, no I've only had a Celsius. I've never had a Milani new. So. I've never had either. So. This is cherry slush. Taste test it. Good. It's kind of sweet. It tastes like a cherry lime. Probably be better a little colder. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's I mean, good, energy actually. drinks aren't my fave, but it's still pretty good. That's what we're doing. Ellie, do you like your energy drink? Um. <laughs> mm, <too awesome. laughs> the line just keeps going. Are you kidding? Update. The line moved. Oh, again. We're hating our lives. We were literally the first grade. The first grade. And everyone cut it. We made it in. We thought we were gonna die. Guys, did y'all see Colton look? So talented. Wow, look at him go.
Now we're at Kane's. Where's the Kane sign? Horns down, oh. baby. Yeah, horns down. Horns down, horns down bro. We Kane's. Hi, um, um, I'm ending this video. It was a good time. It was a good time. It was fun. However, um, terrible organization. Like getting in, there was no organization. It's terrible. I, I told them I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> That's okay though. That might be a little dramatic. I got to celebrate and watch the whole game with Tariq Owens and Norrence Odiase. Yeah, he did. Um, I personally don't know who that is. If you're a true fan of Texas Tech, <laughs> you know who Tariq Owens is. Um, but he sat next to them and um, they were besties the whole time, basically. So that's really Great cool. guys. Really cool stuff. Anyways, it was oh, really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next.